Okay, in this demonstration what we're going to do is we're going to install Squid Proxy Server on our uh, Ubuntu Linux machine. So I'm going to go to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. Okay, I made the font a little bit bigger so that it's a little bit easier to read in the window here. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sudo app-get install squid and then space I'm also going to call squid common which I guess is just common libraries for squid so I'll hit enter and I'll need to put in my password and it says do I want to continue I'll put a Y for yes and hit enter and now it's downloading the packages that we need to install squid Squid is running, and normally we would start and stop Squid by doing a sudo root etc directory init.d directory and look for Squid and then space and then stop to stop the server. But there is no um, Squid in init.d. And I guess this is uh, in a .d uh, directory, so I guess that's a new thing. So if you want to start or stop the service for Squid uh, in this new version of Ubuntu or new version of Squid, since it's not in the in .d directory, what you can do is you can type sudo service Squid, and first thing I'll do is do a status. Let's take a look at it. Okay squid start running process it's got the process there so what I could do is I could do a sudo service squid stop and that will should stop um, squid from uh, the squid server the other thing that I could do is if I need to stop squid I could also do a sudo pkill space dash nine squid alright and if I want to start squid up I'll do a sudo service squid start right and that'll start it up or let me kill that just killed it or I could also start squid up by doing a sudo root directory user directory sbin directory and then launching the squid program the server directly by going into the sbin folder and I could start it up there so now it's running alright now now that we have squid running um, I'm just gonna hit enter a few times clear this I could just clear this here let's see clear alright now we're clear what I want to do now is I want to edit the configuration file so Squid as a proxy server can do what I want it to do. Okay, let's find the configuration file for um, Squid. The configuration file for, for Squid, I'm going to change directory here and I'm going to go into my etc directory and I'll hit enter and then I'll do an, a list and you'll see that there should be a folder for squid in here let's see here there it is squid there's a directory for squid so I'll do a CD squid and so now I'm in uh, root etc squid and um, you can see the working directory if I do a PWD command you'll see there's my working directory and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ls command and you'll see that there's one file in this directory and it's called squid.conf this is the configuration file for squid so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back it up I'm going to back it up by doing a cp command which is a copy uh, command and I'll just do copy squid.conf and then the file I want to copy it to and I'll copy to squid dot conf dot back which is a backup 
basically, right? So I'm going to copy the squid.conf to squid.conf.back, hit enter, right? It says permission denied up oh, because I need root permission. So I'll put a sudo on the front and hit enter, and that should be good. Now if I do an ls command, you'll see I have two files in the directory squid.conf and squid.conf.back. So I'm ready to edit my um, conf file. And to do that, I'm going to do a sudo use gedit. And since I'm in the directory, I could just put squid.conf. Or in this case, I'll just put the full path just to show you that I'm working full path to here. Uh, squid and squid.conf. And I want to background the process, so I'm going to put an uh, and sign at the end and hit enter. And that should open uh, gedit. And now I have gditor open, so I can edit my configuration file. But I also have my terminal still active, and I can still put in commands here if I need to start and stop squid, so I can test out my configuration file, because I'm going to want to test it out. OK, before we start configuring um, squid, the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a web browser to test out our squid proxy server. So I'm going to open up Firefox here, and I'm going to go to Edit Preferences, and I'm going to go to the Advanced tab, and let's see here, Network, and under Connection, Configure How Firefox Connects to the Internet, what I'm going to do is, instead of um, using system proxy settings, I'm going to manually force Firefox to go through my squid proxy server. So I can do that by putting, I believe here, my loopback address, or I can just put my IP address. So let's find out what our IP address is. In terminal window, I'll do an if config. And I can see that my IP address is 10.0.2 no, yeah, 10.0.2.15. So 10.0.2.15. So I'll put in here 10.0.2.15. And then the port that we're going to listen to, Squid works on port by default 3128. 3128. So I'll put that in there. And I'll click OK. All right, and then I'll hit close. And now, if I go to Yahoo, it's going through my Squid server. And you can see right away that when I go to Yahoo, I get an error, um, access denied. So right now, Squid is blocking all access to the internet. So this is good and this is bad. The good news is that Squid's working because it's blocking the internet here now for me. Um, the bad news is I've got to configure it to, well, that's, that's not bad news, but I got to configure Squid so that I can um, have web pages that I want show up and then filter the web pages that I don't want. Okay, and then you could use this, let's say, at home if you wanted, you know, Squid is a good tool to use to, if you wanted to um, filter web traffic or the web pages and websites on your home network, something like that. Now, I'm going to go back into gedit and start configuring. I want to, um, go to edit preferences and turn on line numbers so in gedit I'm going to preferences and I'm going to turn on line numbering so um, this is a big configuration file it's got thousands and thousands of lines and so by having the line numbers it'll help me to move around